Friends, talking of building bridges, uh, the Observer Research Foundation Mumbai and the Gateway House uh, went as a delegation to China recently and Mr. Sudhindra Kulkarni, Chairman Observer Research Foundation Mumbai, led the delegation. So I would uh, request uh, Sudhindra ji to say a few words. Uh, Professor Wilman, Your Excellency, Consul General Samir Sumaya ji, friends, you know, when I entered the Center for Lifelong Learning, I was reminded of what uh, Mahatma Gandhi has said. He says, live as if you're going to die tomorrow, but learn as if you're going to live forever. So this center is dedicated to lifelong learning and in some ways it is dedicated to promoting this wisdom from Mahatma Gandhi. So best wishes to Sumaya Center. Uh, whenever I go to Sumaya Vidya Vihar, uh, I feel inspired and I entirely agree that Sumaya Vidya Vihar deserves to become a university in its own right and the Observer Research Foundation along with other organizations in the city should strongly and we will strongly advocate for Sumaya Vidya Vihar to become a university soon. Friends, as my colleague Radha mentioned, uh, we've just come back from uh, a memorable visit to China. Uh, a 10-member delegation that had representatives from uh, the Observer Research Foundation, Gateway House, Mumbai University, and also one person from Somaya Vidya Vihar, Dr. Satyendra Upadhyay, who is here. But let me tell you that we missed one person in this delegation, and that is Dr. Supriya. I again and again felt that you should have been there on this delegation because you would have made enormous contribution to all that we discussed. And we've really come back with uh, a whole load of uh, ideas, and we want to work together with uh, all friends of China in implementing these ideas. Let me just give a, a few uh, examples, friends. You know, at Peking University, uh, we met uh, uh, Professor Jiang Jingkui, who is the director of the Center for South Asian Studies, and they are doing wonderful work. They presented to us these two volumes of uh, 100 essays by 100 Chinese scholars on Rabindranath Tagore. 100 essays by 100 Chinese scholars. That is the level of interest that Chinese have in Tagore, his life, his legacy, his poetry. But this is not just Peking University. From there I went to Shenzhen, Shenzhen University the Center for Indian Studies at Shenzhen University, and Professor Yulong Yu, who is the director of that center, presented this volume to me. And this contains the best essays on Tagore, out of uh, some 40 essays, out of 1,100 entries in a nationwide contest, essay contest, on Rabindranath Tagore. This is Shenzhen University. So, we were truly overwhelmed by the awareness that there is so much interest in China, common people, scholars, and also government officials in India, and I think that now the interest in, China, in India is increasing. And I feel very strongly that we in India should more than reciprocate this interest in China. There is an 
enormous and urgent need to build capacity build capacity in terms of our knowledge of china knowledge of chinese language chinese history chinese culture chinese art chinese philosophy and as a small as a small effort in that direction with uh, we have proposed setting up dr ji xian lin center for india china studies and uh, his excellency the consul general gave me some good news just now that uh, a very important dignitary from china is coming to mumbai next month and he suggested that this would this could be a good occasion for us to give birth as it were to give birth to this idea of a ji xian lin center for india china studies in mumbai university you know for those of you who may not know ji xian lin was a towering scholar in indology he dedicated his entire life to both studying india and disseminating knowledge of india in china facing enormous difficulties and hardships and humiliation during the cultural revolution he secretly translated the ramayana into chinese how many indians know about him therefore we believe that it is our duty to recognize such a great vidwan to popularize him in india and not just popularize him him but popularize the fact that there are so many people in china who have good will for india who want to know more about india who have dedicated their lives to studying and researching india friends in the course of our delegations visits one recurrent theme that came up in our discussions was the one belt one road strategy one belt one road vision that is proposed by the chinese leadership by president xi jinping we believe that this grand vision for asia's integration and asia's economic integration and taking this integration beyond asia to europe and africa should not be just for economic integration because silk road and silk route exchanges were not only about commerce they were even more about culture they were about philosophy they were about exchanges in religion so therefore when we revive this idea of a silk road integration culture philosophy must take precedence and which is why i think that professor williams wilmans research on kumar jiva a very important figure in the silk road exchanges between india and china this needs to be known and i congratulate the somaya center for lifelong learning for arranging this uh, this lecture and we are very happy to have collaborated with the somaya center and i believe that this may be the first but we are going to have many more such collaborative activities with you we admire you from the bottom of my, bottom of our hearts yes and let's do great things together in mumbai thank you